welcome back to my channel. I'm Charlotte Cottrell, and today we have my sister, Shauna, Hi. guest starring. And I thought it would be fun. Um, we were painting the other day out in my backyard and trying to follow a tutorial that was for beginners from this channel. And it was really bad, but it ended up being just really funny, and I thought that it would be a fun YouTube idea. So today we're gonna to be doing a tutorial by Draw with Sheba. Yes, I will be linking it in if the video you below. Wanna if follow you it wanna follow it yourself or compare. Or check out his channel or compare how we did. And um, <laughs> without further ado, we have sketched out our bases, which is the first step, and we've gotten it all soaked, so we are about to begin basically right now. Right now. So uh, stay, stay tuned. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now we have fancy multi-camera action happening this time. This is cool. So uh, we'll be switching between that and this, which hopefully is not too much of a bear to edit. <clears throat> All right, so he is just throwing in a couple sort of above the base. Yes, he is. Okay, so he sort of blotches. Wow, that's really blotching. I think it's wet enough. And then he does like a duke. Here we go. All right, and then sort of, he little just like does like a dot. He sort of is watching. I'm just doing some dots. <laughs> I am too, because he is gonna come in later and do so many things. Yes, that so many. I'm not really confident not in confident. making any definite decisions right now. Hold on, I need this a is second looking right. This is looking good. Things are happening. Excellent. Things are happening. Yeah, I have more though, because I feel like it's not saturated enough. It's sort of looking like, you know the animation at the beginning of the show, House, when the blood fades? Yeah, yeah. That's what it does when you add the, the watercolor to the wet paper. That is so true. I just want to make this one far more saturated before we continue you're on. You're so right. I'm going to make sure I'm more saturated as well. No, you're right. We're going to make all of them. Make all of them. <laughs> They're going to be so saturated. So saturated. There's something about things being extra saturated that makes you think like, pretty. oh, it must be good. Must yeah. be good. I think this is gonna go better than the one. I think it is yesterday. too. I, already I'm feeling better. I'm I'm already feeling better too. Even from the beginning of last time, I was like, oh, a window. Uh, I'm not feeling good. My vibes. Things are bad. Things are bad. Okay. Alright. We are using the Doodle Hog. Yeah, I can link to the Amazon, by the way. Count. So it is a really Pace. inexpensive palette that comes with a, you know, obviously like a palette. And then they're half pans that you can take out and replace. So my plan is that if I ever go through any of these colors, I'm gonna buy more higher quality, maybe like a Windsor or Newton. But in the meantime, this 48 count, which really the 36 count is actually higher quality and is made in a different place. Or it's kind of Amazon reviewers. We're sure. not really sure. But um, they seem confident. Doodle Hog, yeah, it's been an amazing palette. The colors are surprisingly saturated. It was only like 13 yes. bucks for 48 half pans yeah. in a palette, which like the palette itself is worth like 14 dollars. Right. So I would totally recommend if you're wanting to get past sort like of amateur. The one that I had was a five dollar one from Five Below, like one of the really powdery, chalky, not saturated, absolutely awful, old, bad, bad things. I would have quit watercolor if I had stuck with that because I just like, could not, not make it work the way that people online did. Another thing is that we're just using the Walmart paper brand thing. This, the Grunbacher. 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 Whatever. Anyway, <laughs> it is not great. It is not terrible. It's I'm not, not terrible. It's not as cheap as like the Five Below paper. You can tell that I apparently got my first set of watercolors from. Uh, five below. Five but below. it doesn't hold water very well. It dries out very quickly and um, it's clearly considered like a medium. Yeah, yeah, I would say it's in yeah, intermediate or whatever. So I mean we're I'm gonna invest in some arches soon. Something. Yellow ochre for the background. Maybe golden honey. Golden honey looks right. I bet you golden honey it's is golden gonna honey. be good. We're gonna do golden honey. You're right, you're right. Alright, we're gonna toss it in. Ooh, ooh. And then it goes like down. Alright, so let's see how he does it. So he does it more he likes faded. He very splotchy. Yeah. You know, to leave some white areas where it's like, where it's like. Um, I'm a little confused. I feel like it's more orangey though. I feel like this yellow is coming out really yellow. I am gonna mix some of this with the orange that we have. Which orange? Oh, this orange. I'll do it too. I'll do what she does. He's sort of just splotching it in. So that's, that's what I'm doing. It's true. And then he leaves some white areas and really just lets the water kind of blend it. That's true. You don't want to over blend it. I've heard that so much. <laughs> <laughs> sort of. Um, it's 
sort of just like a dab, dab, dab. Really watching a dab, a dab, dab. About. Yours is more orangey than mine, and I think that that is good. Oh, it's and good? I didn't mean, you said to add orange. I, and I'm just saying, yours is more orangey. I think it's working. I need more orange. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Oh, too much orange. Should I go check on her? No, that's dark. Okay, I can't see in there, so hopefully everything's fine. Dab, dab, dab. All right, so basically just add in some splotches of green. Some darker green. Sort of randomly in the spaces between the flowers. I'm trying to get his hands to be light because I need to be able I'm definitely feeling vaguely good. Me too. About. Things are going well. Well, I'm just gonna get it kind Your of. Your background looks better than mine. I don't this. mind mine, I think. Oh, oh. well, yeah. it's not good. So it looks very, uh, it's too saturated and yellow. And well, my bad deal. Flower sleeves look weird. <laughs> it's fine, everything's fine. All right, you're Maybe right. Maybe I should try and water it down while I can. So he is doing. Wow, this is really working. Something. I'm starting. I got so wet. Hey, the wetness is working. I know. He is doing something. His blue reaches all the way up to the flowers at one point. Oh, the thing my. is, he adds so much to the base later that I'm not really worried about Not super worried about it? Okay. Okay, so now we're just doing one sploosh. Okay. Oh. It wasn't wet enough. Wow, my base was really... Okay. That looks that like is... how his looks. That was more random splotch. Now he's doing that really dark green. What do we but think it's about? Really watered down. Yeah. It's like a really gray green. It's like a really take maybe the emerald. That's what exactly what I was thinking. And either do mix it with like some black. Maybe? That's what I was gonna suggest actually. So we toss it in basically everywhere, all the way up the side. We're starting at the mm -hmm. orange splotch. Yes. I feel like really I'm not blending enough, but also I feel like I'm over blending. I don't think I have enough color anymore. I think I'm over blending. She said, freaking out. <laughs> I just don't want it to look over. It's not blended. like you to freak out. The thing is, I can't remember where my base is anymore. Uh, I uh, can't remember where my... We erased my... our thing, and now I can't remember. I found it. I found my base. Uh, he is adding in the shadow there to the left. Shadow there. He clearly has a good eye for how to do the shadow. Well, he's probably looking at like a picture. He's done this before. Yeah, I guess that's true. I guess I shouldn't be so hard on the situation. This definitely looks more artistic and more light. I don't know how to get that texture that he's getting on the paper. Maybe it's a different than paint as well. Like, yeah. Like quality. his color and see how his like looks like it light looks is falling off. Yeah. yeah. Mine looks. Look, we're just gonna have to figure it out. Not like I'm that. working with what we are working with. Try and add in my red again. All right, looks like blood. So he is doing. I don't know what he's doing. I am gonna get my flowers wet. Just a little flowers, just a little bit. I feel like that is gonna be useful to us. Yes. Yeah. Oh. 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 Things are bad. Uh, uh, oh wow, uh, this one flower is being taken over by the house thing. By the house thing? It's not leaving any like dimension. I think I got them too wet. <clears throat> you did great, how'd you do that? Um, I dab dabbed. All right, something is definitely happening. He's All doing right, a blue dark green. green. I think we're doing the leaf. Sap green with cobalt blue. And yes, he's doing the leaf detail. So let's just go straight for emerald, I say. I agree. Anytime we try to do anything else, it's not work. Um, yes. Yeah. Sort of squiggling his brush. Ramen. The squiggling is kind of working. For once. Okay. Sorry. Just a random this leaf. This just looks so drapey and good. So basically it's squiggling in like, most of the squiggles are in one direction. But then occasionally you just have one that goes woo in the other direction. And that is creating like a lot of dimension and texture. Sort of a, sort of a, sort of artistically draped. And then he's sort of tops off the green. Okay, now he's doing a blue, I guess for the shadow. It's a dark blue. 
This seems better. Let's see if we can get a visual. Can you see it all? <laughs> Hello. Hello. Can you see this painting? Hello. Oh, he just did just random dots. a random, random dots sort of thing on the base. Suddenly, he's doing more red. Okay, and we're doing red. It's no problem. Raspberry, nice raspberry. I think we're going to put raspberry. So red, the dots. I'm going to try to create. He made his kind of... And then he sort of went in and went across. He is adding, you'll be shocked to hear, more dark detailing of the green. Okay. Just really more. I mean, I was adding more greenery anyway, so I don't mind that. Barely better. I kind of like it. I know, Shauna. I think it looks great. paintings uh let us know in the comments below how you guys think we did <coughs> um the original video is an hour and 35 minutes right now we'll see how much i can cut that down i have many hours of <coughs> editing ahead of me but yeah um i'm really pleased this was much better than the whole window box uh wow situation. if i could show you my window box it would be like this is bad deal this is better so do you think that this was like a beginner tutorial. I would still call it intermediate, I think. Like begin like, intermediate. That's what we Charlotte's yes, term. Right. Begin intermediate. But I'm probably not the first person to come up. But also having done one of his paintings before it helped. Like, made me better understand I how he uses light and color. For like his shaping <clears> of his <throat> leaves yes. and like how he like Like failing completely helped me to better <laughs> I so true. So like if someone was trying to do this brand new, never having done his stuff before, be I still think it would be intermediate. But if you've done at least one of his before, I would say it's begin to be. What do you think? I agree. I agree. I think that if you have some watercolor experience and you're looking to like step up your game and try something a little more challenging. This is definitely intermediate. Than like sort of a 2D depiction of things that this would be a good way to go. I will say maybe slow down his video to like 0.75 speed. That's yes. the only tip I would give and high quality paper because yes. I think even you know you could tell that his pigments of his paints were really nice yeah but I'm pretty sure we still could have gotten the same effect if our paper weren't basically mutinying at all times that is so true I feel like up to like 25% of what's wrong with this is as you can see there's a lot of bleeding I guess maybe we should do another one of his tutorials after we've gotten some better some paper nice arches. to see if we can replicate mm -hmm. more and then you know move plus on. his paper was staying wet you could yes. tell the entire time his paper was still it. and we had to remoisten it like every time yeah, so but then we would remoisten it too much but then we would remoisten it too little so it's like you can tell the quality paper made a big difference <clears throat> anyway all that being said we have company over to hang out so we're trying to wrap this up real Bye. quick thank you so much for watching thanks for watching like this video like comment it. subscribe comment subscribe hit that notification new, bell Ooh, that's a good one that's what and um say. Comment down below if you liked my sister joining us, if we should do another video like this or another kind of like collab situation thing. She's thinking about starting a YouTube channel, so if she does, That's true. you'll probably see me over there at some point. Um, and I will let you know if she does. And if this kind of thing is your kind of thing, then feel free to like, subscribe, share, all those good things that we just mentioned five seconds ago. And I hope you guys have a good one. Okay, bye. bye.